What's up guys? Welcome back to another Sport Universe Reacts. Um, this is our fourth reacting video. Um, hopefully they're getting better, hopefully they're improving. This is the latest I've filmed a reaction video, but you know, you gotta keep on the schedule. So, this week we're gonna be discussing the Antonio Brown helmet situation, which I'm sure if you follow football you've heard about, so let's get right into it. Um, so, it came out about four days ago that Antonio Brown basically threatened his retirement on if he could keep wearing his old helmet. Now, we'll get into that. You, you're you probably thinking, like, okay, just let him wear his old helmets. But uh, the NFL last year implemented these rules that would start this year that there was a list of helmets that players could wear. And obviously, on the other side of it, a list of helmets that players can't wear. And, of course, Antonio Brown's helmet that he used to wear and was comfortable wearing is on the uh, no... I don't know what the list is called, but he can't wear it based off the new NFL rules. So, um, about four days ago, I think it was Adam Schechter, I don't know, specifically, um, came out and said that Antonio Brown was threatening his retirement on the fact that he wanted to wear his old helmet. And so, when everyone heard that news, they they're like, and still are, what a drama queen. And ever... Since his Steelers days, he, this is what his big thing is. He th He's a diva, and he thinks he's higher than everyone else. So let's get into that. Um, last year, like I said, the NFL implemented these rules, and uh, Antonio Brown wants to wear his old helmet. So the timeline of this, he came into practice one day wearing his old helmet, and they told him that he can't wear the helmet, and he threw a temper tantrum and left. Then he came in the next day, acted like nothing had happened, practiced in the new helmet, and didn't really hear anything from it. Then the next day, this is literally insane, brought in his helmet from his Steelers days, badly painted to look like a Raiders helmet, and tried to get that by the, official, the team officials and everything like that, and they made him go home. And that's where it all started. Then he filed a grievance case against the NFL. He lost the grievance case. And so now we're where we're at today. There hasn't really been any news about what the situation's getting on about. But I wanted to specifically react to Antonio Brown and how much of a diva he is. There are so many reasons why this is bad for Antonio Brown and his teammates. And why he's such a selfish player. And why the Steelers should be so excited that they made the right decision. And that... His antics didn't just weren't just gonna stop with the Steelers. It's like the only person it's a win for is the Steelers. So first off, it affects his teammates. Um, if you guys didn't know before this whole helmet issue, he's been out two weeks because of this blistering that he had on his feet, which was caused by him going to France and doing this cryotherapy. Which, you, if you don't know, it's like after you're working out a lot, it like freezes your body and it's supposed to help your nerves or your body heal. And he's gets the cryotherapy, and apparently he's wearing his these wrong shoes and gets blisters all over his feet. And what's weird about that situation is that what I heard is that he's been doing this for like four years, and now is the top first time that it's actually affected his playing. That plus the helmet issue begs the fact that maybe Antonio Brown doesn't want to play football anymore. It seems like he's trying to get out of playing football. I don't know why. That could just be a coincidence, but we'll see if that turns out to something. So he's been out two weeks with the foot issue. Um, he hasn't practiced because... He hasn't had, like, a really full practice because of this uh, helmet issue. So he's losing reps with his teammate, his teammates. Um, obviously, being on a new team, you need to get comfortable with your teammates, get comfortable with the new quarterback, and he's losing those reps. Plus... It puts you on, he, he's putting himself on this pedestal that he's bad, better than everyone. And obviously, first impressions mean a lot. That's not the greatest first impression to have as a new player on a new team and a player that's had uh, situations like this happen before. And he's just, 
it seems like he doesn't care. It seems like he's better than he thinks he's better than everyone else. And situation after situation, it's continuing to see that the Steelers gave him up so easily because he's such a player like this. Like, I didn't really know. I hadn't really heard about this Antonio Brown and that he's a bad teammate, he's selfish and all this stuff since all this stuff started happening. And now that I know everything that he's done from the Ste with the Steelers and to now, it's just so bad and it makes sense why the Steelers wanted to get rid of him. And it's really bad because he's a good talent. And I was watching... It's on FS1. They were talking about why this continues to happen and why it will continue to happen. It's because he's such a good talent that he gets rewarded, basically, for doing these things. Not, obviously, because of it, but... When he had that Facebook Live incident with the Steelers, he got a contract extension. When he had the falling out with the Steelers, John Gruden traded for him and signed him to a contract extension. I think it's like three years, 50 million, or five years, 30 million, something like that. A lot of money. I think it's three years, 50 million, because that sounds more like his money. He just gets rewarded for these things over and over again. He's like a little kid. Like, if you reward a kid for doing something bad, they're going to continue to do it. And he hasn't received punishment for anything he's done, really. And everything has been roses for him. Even though he's been doing all these bad things. Um, there's really n not much to say. Except the fact that the Steelers made the right decision. Is basically what comes out of this. Antonio Brown has gotten to the point that it seems like I said. it doesn't. He doesn't want to play football anymore. He's trying to find any excuse, and now I'm just waiting, and I'm sure a lot of people are waiting for the next thing to come out of Raiders camp. And it sucks for the Raiders because, especially John Gruden, John Gruden had such a bad first season, and then he trades for Antonio Brown, and all this is happening, and he signed him to this large extension, and all this is happening. And John Gruden hasn't made a lot of good decisions, and this is not one of his good decisions. And there's not much more to say about the fact that Antonio Brown seems to not care about himself, himself and his teammates. And that does not make a good first impression for anyone. And when he's coming to a new team after having all his past incidences, it just shows that he hasn't learned anything. Fun fact, his helmet that he wants to wear... Let's actually talk about the helmets. So first, he's the only player out of how many players are in the NFL? A bunch. More than a bunch. A lot. Who has complained about these helmets and has had something bad to say. A lot of people are a majority, maybe not a majority, but a lot of people are saying that it's actually improved their ability to see the ball. And obviously it's more safe because that's why there's a whole list about it. They could see the ball better. They could, their abilities are improving and Antonio Brown's the only one complaining about it, once again putting himself on a pedestal that he's better than everyone else and has to be a diva. And this helmet that he's wearing, that he wants to wear, has been discontinued by the company since 2011. So obviously, it's not a good helmet, and Antonio Brown is doing this for all the wrong reasons. The new helmet, I'm sure, actually help improves him, his abilities, or it just doesn't, and he just wants to make a big issue about it, because... He gets so much focus in the NFL that if he brings up an issue, he'll be the center of attention, which is what he wants. So that's basically the story with the Antonio Brown situation. Um, there's not much more to say about it. I'll end it by saying... Um, I don't really know how to end it. It's just Antonio Brown, figure out what you want to do with your life and don't be such a jerk. And don't be so selfish. Um... So, I'll end it how I always say it. Um, here at the Sport Universe, sports are our universe. And currently, the universe of the NFL revolves around Antonio Brown. So, um, keep reading our articles on thesportuniverse.com. New article coming out tomorrow. Also, a new video coming out tomorrow. I think it's an Antonio Brown highlight video, so keep looking for that. I'm sorry my head has been kind of cut off. Just have to deal with it. 
Um, so keep watching our videos. We're at 54 subscribers right now. Hopefully we'll be at 55 soon. Um, we are currently, as I'm recording this, 300 away from reaching 10,000 views on our channel. So that's a cool milestone to pass. Thanks for watching. Um, and yeah, see you next time.